two, one. For infants with coronal synastosis, the approach is a little bit different. Again, you can see this is the right frontal bone, the left frontal bone, the right parietal bone, the left parietal bone. I've marked off here the anterior fontanelle or the opening between the four bones. And you can see it is a little bit asymmetric, which means it doesn't look the same on the left as it does on the right. And this is actually because the coronal suture on the left has closed and fused. You can see that when this happens, the baby's forehead on the same side becomes indented. This is called frontal retrusion. What happens when you have molding of the frontal bone, the orbital rim is pulled up a little bit. This is called a harlequin deformity. And sometimes you develop a nasal scoliosis or a small curvature of the nose. All of this is corrected by a minimally invasive surgery with a post-operative cranial molding helmet. So in surgery today, what we're going to do is make a small incision just between here and here. We're going to go under the skin of the scalp and basically we're going to remove or nibble out the fused left coronal suture under the skin. After surgery, the baby will look exactly the same except he will have two small incisions However, the suture will have been removed. A week after surgery, the baby will be placed in a cranial molding helmet, and that will help reshape the frontal bones and the other bones of the skull so the child will have a normal face and skull development.